This is part two of the Solaris corridor series. There's some necessary uh, cleanup to do and a few other things. And so uh, that's what I'm going to do in this video. So this is our main piece that we're going to be arraying. I'm going to come in here and select it all. I think I'll do a quick merge by distance, nothing there. And what I've decided is that I want to uh, shrink this down a little bit uh, just so that the, the computer panels fit properly. I've got that and maybe what I'll do is I'll select this guy and this guy. I don't have to do too much really on those. I was thinking I'll go to individual origins and SX just to make them a little bit bigger. Um, that still may be too wide for the instruments and uh, so I actually am going to come back in and I'm going to scale it in the X some more. Oh, no, that's not what I do. Uh, let's go back into median point, scale that in the X some more. I want narrower doors, narrower windows, and narrower there. But I just want to make sure that my array is still working. And it is. And everything's fine there, I think. Okay, how are my wedges? Yeah, I guess they're all right. Okay, I'll think about that for later on. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I've decided I'm going to do something on this bar. I'm going to control R to drop an edge loop, control B to separate it just with two edges, come out to about there, and then I'm going to extrude in a little ways. I'll get rid of this face and I'll come down to here and get rid of that face. And I'm going to shut that off and shift alt and click there and there. And I'm going to give this a bevel with uh, three. And I'm also going to, just in case I need to drop an edge loop there, control B and split this just with two roll back to two. Uh, it creates a little bit more interest in it. It looks like it follows the reference a bit more. Let's have a look at this and the mirror. And I think at this point, it's going to be time to, uh, I'm going to be applying the mirror because on this side, I'm going to have computer, you know, computer, whatever pieces, equipment there, and, on the, and then a door, computers and door. But on this side, I don't want the door. I want just this and then there'll be various pieces of equipment. I'm not sure how much I'm going to do, but we'll see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think just before I, I apply the mirror, uh, I want to look at getting rid of a few more polys. I could take this and control plus maybe up to there. I'm going to get rid of those faces. Could go one more, but just to be careful. Shift Alt to click there and there. Control plus to maybe there. Because this is going to be rather high poly. We're never going to see that, so that can that can go. So um yeah, um let's see if I come to my mirror, if I turn on clipping, I don't think it's gonna make a difference. Anything here I'm not going to see because I've got this blocking it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the mirror. I'll come in here, I'll merge by distance if there's anything. I did get rid of a bunch of vertices. And as far as I can tell, I'm not going to need these outside vertices. I may have to click twice here because uh, they weren't perfectly joined. I can get rid of those ones. And this one, that goes all the way, I can get rid of those. We're never going to see those. And any polys we can cut down is, uh, is great. So let's just double check my array and the mirror is on. So now I can come in here and I'm going to get rid of this door here. So I'm just gonna select that and uh, let's see if I do that. Yeah, okay. Let's get rid of those faces. Let's take these bars here and get rid of those. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece here and I'm gonna come underneath for that. I'm gonna select that. Control plus all the way up to around there. I think that's going to be enough. 
uh, and I'm going to duplicate that, slide it across. Now, if I put that there, and if I put the array back on, that's fine. So now we have that going all the way down there, and we have that there, and our our you know our polys are getting up there, but they're going to go way up when we do the computer stuff. But that's just the way it's going to be. Uh, I'll put on the I'll put that on, and I'm actually going to take this down. I'm going to try five and have so we've got that indentation we've done that okay now there is something else I want to do here I'm thinking about it anyhow these doors I'm thinking of um, I wonder if I can select all of this and just break it out for the moment makes it a little easier to work on it and what I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to grab this and I want these smaller ones. I'm going to scale it in the Z like that. And what I may also do is take these and because they're indented there and scale them in the Z a little bit. Now I can do that, but I also want to scale them in the X. So I have to switch the individual origins, scale it in the X like this. And then that just may uh, translate a bit better. Um, so I wanted to do that. But I also want to come in here and select this face and this face and then control plus until I get to the end of the bevel there. And I want to also scale in the X. I just want them a little bit more prominent like that. Get rid of all these uh, modifiers and I'm going to join it back up. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to do some work on this thing because as we saw, I don't know how well you can see it, there's a longer piece right there, you can see it. Uh, so I wanna do something about that. And what I thought I would do was, I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to select that edge and shift alt and click that edge. And then I'm gonna scale in the X a little bit, pull them out to something like that. Three for face selection, shift alt and click there. And this is very simple stuff. So there, E, Alt, S, and push. Make it bigger. And make sure I'm in face selection. Shift, Alt, and click. Get rid of those faces. And get rid of those faces. And then take this edge. And this edge. Let's see if I can get it in here. And bevel that. Okay, I'm going to use three. And um, that might be enough. I might need another one, but we'll see. And so that when I put the array on, you'll see just down where there was that longer piece, it's kind of split by that. And so now if we just do that, you know, that's, that's what it ends up looking like. Okay, so everything's good so far. All right, now the next thing is... This side is going to have some mirrors on it. And those mirrors, I may put them at every spot or every second, are gonna require a support. And so I'm thinking of taking this piece and uh, not doing it on the other side, just on this side. Shift D to duplicate, pull that down and just push it in a little bit like that. And then, so that's there. And that'll bend around, okay. And I'm gonna shift C just to bring my 3D cursor right back to the middle. And we'll give this a try. I'm gonna bring it on the plane. And I'm gonna rotate X90. Scale it, sort of bring it in here. There's like a little support thing that the mirror is on. And uh, let's look from here. And then I can just, if possible, if possible, I'd like it to go under the other one and not make contact with that. And it's going to be relatively large. So, I mean, it'd be neat if we could do something like that. I think I probably can, but actually, if I want this to, let's see if there, there makes contact. And I think I'm okay. Um, but 
doesn't have to be symmetrical or anything. Let's try this. Let's first of all put on solidify and make that a little thinner. Something like that. Then let's just see if it's okay. So I'll texture that in Substance Painter. So let's apply that and then select it and bring my 3D cursor there. And maybe to make the mirror, maybe a UV sphere that's 22 or something. Let's try that anyhow. Rotate X 90. And I'll look from uh, there. And I will get rid of, maybe I'll even get rid of those. Like that. And I'm going to scale it in the Y. So it's, you know, like a concave mirror. Okay, so now let's try solidify on this. Let me just make it a little thinner. I don't know, something. Zero, zero, 002. Maybe one more. Um, all right, well, I'll go ahead and I'll apply that. I wish it was a bit smoother. Let's start adding subdivision. No. I might end up leaving it with the subdivision on and deciding later what to do about that. So let's take this and this and just focus on them. Um, I'm not going to worry about beveling this right now, I don't think so. Uh, let's just see, that's pretty good anyhow. Um, how about if I take, to make a support now for that, if I take this edge... And I'll break it out. And I'm just going to make like a little thing like that. Let's rotate Z90. And I'll take this face and bring it to about, I'll just push it in and get rid of that face. And what I'm going to do here is. Let's make sure. Yeah, okay. I'm going to bring it down to like that. That might be too thick. You know, we'll, we'll see. Maybe I will make it a little thinner. Um, but then I thought I would just drop an edge loop in here. Or maybe I'll do it like this. And then I'll, I'll position it better. I'm just going to extrude down. Sort of goes like that. You, I mean, you're barely going to see it. In fact, to tell you the truth, I think it's too small. I'm just going to globally scale it and then bring it back because, you know, at a distance, you know, if you want it to be anything, you've got to do something like that. So uh, I'll take this and pull it in here. Uh, actually, there's a chance you would see behind there. I doubt it, but. How about to make this a bit nicer? I'll select those and press J. So I can bevel this the way I like to. J. And then two for edge selection. Shift Alt and click there. Shift Alt and click there. X. Uh, dissolve edges. And you know, I have that a diagonal one. So then I can just select the whole thing and control B. And I just I just like that a little bit nicer. And then uh, we'll come down here and we'll select all of this, all of this including that one all of this all of this including that one and we'll bevel that with three and then this one and this one with three so the whole thing is kind of rounded like that let's see I would hold it let's make sure it's not flipped okay and then what I'll do is uh, look from uh, here um, let's, uh, the 3D cursor's there. Let's set that to 3D cursor and take this and a shift D. Did I do it? Rotate 180. No, oh, I didn't shift D. It. Shift D, rotate 180. So put one there, and then how about shift D, rotate 45, and shift D, rotate 90, or minus 90. Uh, that, that kind of thing. 
and that's how that's going to hold that mirror on. I'm going to apply it. Just what the heck. I'll leave all that too. And so with that done, uh, maybe I will bevel these edges though, just a little bit just to sharpen it up, you know. And now I'm going to take this and this, and I'm going to join those together. And I'll even join this piece uh, for the time being. I'll come in and I'll merge by distance. Nothing to get rid of. Slash key. And I'll decide if I like it. Uh, so the idea is that if this is a raid, but then also bent, this one here is probably okay. Uh, but what I'll do is I'm going to put that in a collection and I'll organize everything into collection, uh, collections later. I'll do that and then I'll shift a collection mirror. I'll just texture one and I should be good. Let's bring that back to medium point. Let's set the origin to the 3D cursor and then set the geometry to origin. And it doesn't seem to come in perfect, but pretty close. But at any rate, that's going to change a bit because um, I'm going to move it down and uh, I'm going to look from the top. While the, the form modifier is on, I'm just going to rotate this, this instance. And I believe I'm connecting to that bar. Is that right? Yeah, or something, or close to it. Let's see if I did that right. And then I'll just, I mean, if I just overshot it, just go to there. You'll never see uh, in behind there like that. And then, and then I'm just going to do that again. And I, I won't do all of them. Uh, because in the end, I'm going to texture them. Well, it's okay if they're instances and they were where they were. Uh, they'll still just all take the texture. Let's try that. And which one is it? That one. Okay. And there might be a couple other pieces. But honestly, I'm not going to have the time to do too many. I'm going to turn on the, the shadow. But that gives me the mirror and uh, the walls here versus the door on that side and yeah, i narrowed it a little bit i've done that and i did the thing on there so take care of yourselves and hope to see you in the next video